Gil, thank you very much for coming on. It's absolutely oh. lovely to see you now. I feel like I've known you forever. I think we have known we each have other, each other forever. forever. Yeah, he's more dog TV presenter. Yes, we sort of grew up together. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Now tell me about this, the whole alopecia thing, because I thought your hair had grown back, but you're losing it again. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. It was, it was a really, obviously it's a very odd condition that no one really knows much about. Some people say it's stress, some people say it's hormones. Um, I was really fortunate to have a really good shaped head. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, and also it was good also being in the public eye because you could actually help other people. So I, I, I took about a month of going, oh, boo-hoo, poor me. And then, when it first happened. Yeah, and, and now I've got a big patch at the back of my head. Um, I don't know if you want to see it at some point. And I've got a patch here, so I'm wearing headbands at the moment. So I don't know if it's going to fall out. If it when, does, did it, when did it start happening again? It started happening again about a month and a half ago. Yeah. So, um, and how did you feel when you sort of like... Did you, you just I'm watching that I did think, oh god, not again. Yeah. But I do know that, you know, I, this woman came up to me in Sainsbury's the other day and she just burst into tears. Mm. And I was like, she, she took her hat off, she had no hair, and she gave oh. me a big hug. And you just like, do you know what? It's not the worst thing in the world. Mm. I work with lots of amazing kids that have got a lot worse things than me. And, you know, if it happens again, at least this time I can deal with it. Yeah. It's alright. My you daughter's take, used to it. Yeah, you take a fantastic attitude too. But explain to us, exactly what is alopecia? I wish I could, I, wish, yeah. I don't really know, no one really knows, it's like I said before, it's either hormones or mm. um, stress, and I, I, I don't know, I've gone to specialists, I mean, when I first lost my hair, eyebrows, eyelashes, yeah. all my body hair, mm. and that was amazing, that mm. was the best thing ever, I had my first bikini wax about three weeks ago and it was horrific, <laughs> I forgot how painful <laughs> And I was like, oh god, that could have just all stayed away and that could have come back. Yeah, well, no, but no, I don't, like that. no, it doesn't. And, and the first specialist I went to see, how was that? It was 2005, so five, five, five years, years ago. Mm -hmm. And the first specialist I saw said, you've got such a severe case, you will never really? have hair again. Yeah, he said 99% you will never have hair again. Mm -hmm. We did a documentary for BBC One and he said it on the documentary, it was 90% or 99%. So I left absolutely devastated mm -hmm. thinking this is it. And then it came back. So. But it's a good thing to see yeah. to other people that have lost their yeah. hair never give up hope because specialists don't even really know what's happening mm. and it's just, you know, I feel like I've made so many great friends and I speak to people, I'm a big Twitterer, so yeah. I speak to people in America and Australia and, and the UK and yeah, I can't, I can't say what would make your hair come back because obviously I don't know because it's falling out a little bit again mm. but, you know, I just get on with it and See what happens. It seems like you've taken a lot of positives out of the situation. You know, you talk about meeting new people, etc. But how, in general, do people react to you? I get a lot of. Um, I've been in a lot of cabs, and I've, I worked in America for three years, and of course, everyone automatically thinks you've got cancer, or you're going to do chemo, mm -hmm. and a lot of people feel it's their um, their duty to actually tell you what they think, which can be a little bit hard because my mum mm -hmm. went through cancer, and I watched my mum go through chemo and lose my mum, and you think, you know don't talk to me like that, Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe ask me, I don't mind you asking me, but don't automatically go, so what's wrong with you, what, why, why are you going to the key, when you think, actually I'm a very lucky person, yeah. I'm just bold. And it's really rude, isn't it? It is, yeah, it's, it's very insane. intrusive. Yeah. It is, it's some bloke once said it to me on a plane yeah. once, you know, what's wrong with your head, and I went, what's wrong with your face mate? And I'm like, good reply, yeah, because he was really ugly. Yeah. And I thought, <laughs> do you know what, I'm really not yeah. that horrible, but do you know what, I, I'd had it, I was up to here, and I was yeah. dealing with lots of other things, and when he went, what's wrong with your I just thought, mm. wow. good for you. Good for you. <laughs> now, uh, what, do you, what is going to happen now to your hair? Do you know? No idea, no. Um, I spoke to Is that frightening, living with the uncertainty of just thinking, not really? Well, do you know what? I, I'm kind of hoping this will go again, because obviously that's lovely. But um, this bit, yeah, it's, it's not that bad, but I'm a big sci-fi fan, so I'm thinking I might go down the route of... You know, applying for a job in Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who. You know, I work. I, I just think it's funny now for me. It's, it's, I know it's not funny for people. I, I said that the wrong way, but for me, it's not the biggest problem in the you world. Can take a sense of humour too. I've done five years of being bald, and it's been great having hair back. Kind of unfortunate it's going again, but. See yeah, the worst thing around. I've got to stop you there. Thank you so much for coming in. You have to stop me. I do have to stop you. I can do all that. Do you want to get the other Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. No, I've Oh, Joanne, Joanne. Joanne, Joanne, amazing. Got to tell you another story. Can you carry on? She's just going to keep it. Thank you to Gail. I know you can see Gail's special report about alopecia on 5 News at 7 o'clock straight after Studio 5. It's definitely worth watching. Now, something Jane has been very 